Okay, hey, what's up you guys? The Wise Matthew again. Um, this time, this video is going to be a little different. I know I did a video um, talking about some of the home launchers, but I wanted to make an actual dedicated video to only home launchers. So I can give you guys the best understanding of each one, and um, that way you guys can really have more options of what you want to, you know, what home launchers you want to do. And I think there's some miscommunication, some confusion about what home, like how many home launchers you can have and uh, what exactly they do and how they best work for you. So um, what I'm going to do here is click the home button and as you can tell I have a ADW Launcher, Go Launcher EX, Launcher 7, and Regina Launcher. These are all home launchers and each one is a little different. Um, some of them, a couple of them are the same. I'd say ADW Launcher and Go Launcher are pretty similar. Uh, Regina Launcher is pretty similar to um, uh, just a, a more basic Go Launcher experience. Um, launcher 7 is going to be your, it looks like a Windows phone, um, but it's very cool looking. Um, they're still working on it, they still need to add a couple things to it, um, but it's it you know works overall. But I would say the best one of all of this, like I said before, is Go Launcher EX. And these are all free, and there are paid versions of some of these, but these are all free. And uh, so you can try them out, you know, give them a try. And you can have multiple ones. I mean, you don't have to have one home launcher. Um, as you you know notice here, I have multiple home launchers. So you can set different profiles for each one you want. So you want a certain style for one, you set it. Um, you can actually back them up if you would want to keep one at a time. So you can download the home launcher again, and then you'll always have that there. So um, the Go Launcher EX, this is what I usually always have on my phone. So you guys have seen this before. Um, I got the Halloween. I just did the doing the Halloween video um, on this one, so that's why I have the live wallpaper in the background. But um, you can change everything. So down here at the app drawer, these are my favorite things to change. I'm just going to show you my favorite things. So um, pretty standard. Um, you can change the background on the notification bar, um, all that stuff. I'll show you that real quick. So what you're going to do is menu, and then you're going to go into your preferences. Okay, now once you go into preferences, theme settings, you can change the dock background. So here it asks you, um, do you want to go with Go Theme Background, Stock One, Hide the Background, you can even hide it, or Custom Background. So I'm going to go to Custom Background, go to my gallery, let that load up, and go in here, let's pick this little dude, and as you can tell it looks, it looks much like a dock, so um, just put his head in here, and you're going to click Save, which basically crops it, and then um, click this again. And now down there, you'll notice the little dude's head, and uh, my icons are white, so they're kind of hard to see, but I have uh, more icons down here, and you can tell, you can just kind of scroll, So, and you can set that as any color you want, um, and you can download more uh, off the Go Launcher store and every, all that stuff, and probably on the Marketplace, I'm sure. Um, you can find tons of stuff. Like I said, th there's so many options that I can't go over all of it. Um, you just kind of one of those things where if you have it, and the more you play around with it, you're going to find stuff on your own. And uh, there's ways to customize it that even I don't know about. So, um, like I said about the, the notification bar up top, let's go to Preferences, um, Theme Settings, I believe. Uh, app Drawer Background, here we go. So your App Drawer, when you um, go into all your apps, you can choose what background you want. So let's go to custom background again. I'm going to my gallery again. Uh, let's go to wallpapers. Okay, we're gonna go into wallpapers and let's pick about this one. A little stormtrooper, red stormtrooper. So I'll save it. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my app drawer with all my apps. And as you notice, there's all my apps, and in the background is the Stormtrooper. So it's pretty cool, huh? And um, the way this flips right here, I have this on a different setting. You can actually change that. You can change um, how it flips. Like I said, you can change everything. So what I'm going to do is go to Preferences again, and Effects Settings. Now, uh, let's see. It's desktop. Full effect. See if we can get it different here. Okay, so let's flip, let's try to roll. Let's 
So there's roll. See how it changed it? So earlier it was flipping. Now it's doing a roll. And there's tons of effects you can do. I'm not going to go into them, but I'm just showing you an example of what you can do. So um, really customizable, really fun, and like I said, you can change the background here. And just really cool. You can play around with it. And, you know, in my other video I showed you, you can, you can add more home screens or you can delete home screens, however you want. You can have up to nine, I believe. Three, six, nine. Okay, yeah, and nine. You have up to nine home screens, which you're probably not going to use that many home screens because also in uh, Launcher EX you can make folders, and I don't have that on there right now. I'm not a big folders type of guy, but um, I do have that in one of my other launchers. I'll show you how you do that. But um, just want to show you this is Launcher EX, um, so you might want to check this one out. It's pretty good. Okay, so the next one to move into is. ADW Launcher is pretty similar, so and I haven't done a whole lot of customization in here. I mean, I've used it before, but I just downloaded it again to show you guys what it is. But um, it's pretty basic, but you can do, you know, like you click this, click more, go into your ADW settings, and you can do a lot of the same stuff. It's pretty much the same, you know, thing. They're not There's not a whole lot of difference between most of these home launchers. Um, they just have like little things, you know, that you might feel more comfortable with. So it's really all about trying it and seeing if it's something that fits your personality. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go into too much. You can tell right now it's it's a little bit more basic than um, Go Launcher EX, I think. Um, I know some people do like ADW Launcher a lot better, and that's fine. You know, That's just how their personality um, comes through on their phone, and that's what they like and they're comfortable with, so that's fine with me. Um, next one I'm going to show you is Regina Launcher. This is a newer one that I've really didn't, never heard of, um, but I... You know, downloaded it and gave it a shot because it's free. And um, this is the stock clock that comes with it. So they have a few of their own widgets. It's not like a huge library of widgets, but they do have their own widgets. And um, what's cool is there's a little bit of things that are different here. Like if you go in your apps, it's all it's like a it shows you your um, home screens right here, but it's kind of like this transparent black. And then uh, up top you'll notice that it has it's numerical, but it's in like black thumbnails. And it's just really cool looking. Um, haven't seen that anywhere else. Let's click back. And I'm going to show you something that's pretty neat. Um, when you're scrolling through these pages, like right now I have an effect on. And also, this comes stock with it. Uh, you can have uh, multiple wallpapers. So you can set a wall new wallpaper for every photo. Or every screen. Sorry. Um, so like I have here, I have my own you know, different pictures for every screen. And... Um, you have your Facebook, and I was talking about folders earlier. Um, I have those. I have a folder down here. So um, you just click on the folder, and that's pretty cool is how it flips down. I don't know if you guys saw that. So uh, I'll go back so you can see it. So you click on your folders, and it actually takes the home screens, flips them down, and they're laying flat right here, and then it shows you your folders. And you can rename whatever you want. So you just click on this, and then you can rename it whatever you want. So that's pretty cool. Uh, another cool thing that I have noticed about this launcher is you can, uh, when you hold down, see so you can scroll like that. It reminds me of the iTunes uh, like album directory. So it really looks pretty cool. And you can set this so, um, like right now I have this set on, so it just keeps uh, flowing through all of them. There's no stop stopping point. So like I can just keep going in a complete 360 right here of all my uh, home screens. Um, but that's pretty cool. So. Yeah, I haven't really seen, I've seen this before in other places, but I didn't know that Regina did this. And uh, like I said, I'm pretty new to Regina, but it's pretty cool. Um, cool way to show off your phone. And it has like a lot of little things that, you know, I haven't seen on other uh, phones. So like I said, the back drops down like this, and you have folders. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, uh, it has options and all that stuff. Regina settings, you can go in here. And you can see all the stuff. Um, so you have this endless rotation is what I was talking about. That's where you can just have your phone. It just keeps going around and around and around. Um, instead of going left and then go all the way back right, it just keeps going around. Um, you can like all the stuff. There's tons of stuff in here. But um, yeah, I'm just getting used to this one. So check it out, guys. It's called Regina Launcher. It's free. And the last one I'm going to show you is another new one that... Um, I had a different version of it earlier and never really found a whole lot of use for it because um, 
basically this is launcher 7 and this is after the windows phones um so it pretty much looks just like a windows phone and um, i don't think that blue is coming through very well but you can change the color of all the stuff but these are actually like your this is actually desktop so and they call these um tiles by the way so um like i've added tap to so like in normal home launchers you have a widgets and their widgets are tiles so whatever you have you want to add is going to be added as a tile that first page and it opens up the app you know here's tap two i did this one in my last video i got a lot of feedback on this one it's a really good app and i'm glad you guys like it because i use it just about every day and um, i tried pulse before this but i think tap two is better than that because you can integrate your facebook and your twitter feeds into this thing and uh, you can pick whatever news you want and it's great i really love it i have no complaints over it all right guys so like i was saying you know it looks a lot like the windows phone um I have my Facebook here, which is a tile, and then my Tap2 is a tile, and it's pretty cool. Um, if you swipe right, then it goes to all your apps. But the problem I have with this home launcher is it's just, there's not a whole lot here. Um, like I said, like this is it. It's just, you have one page, and all you can do is just add to it and make it longer, but that's it. It's just one page with tiles. It's a cool idea. Um, it works well, you know, I mean you click phone and everything. It's a good idea, but It just you know, there's just some things that doesn't doesn't have um, Sorry about that so click this goes to music of course um, One thing that is cool in the menus look up top I don't know if you know this or not, but all it says is the time, but there's nothing else there It's completely black. It's blank there's no notification bar whatsoever. And you can actually choose to have that or not have that. So you go into uh, Launcher 7 settings. And you can change everything. Background color, change color. So tile color, let's change that. Originally, it was green, I believe. The Windows color, so we'll change it back to that. And um, the status bar options go here. Um, okay, I'll click off that. So I'm going back to stock, so there's color, and there's my notification bar. Pretty cool, huh? So if you want a really sleek looking phone, I uh, highly recommend this. But yeah, um, you can change a few things about it. So far it's mainly colors that I've seen. And um, you could you know, do the wallpaper, of course. Um, but I actually like the way it looks. It, you know, I don't want to change it too much because I think the Windows phones look pretty good. Um, change it here red here so you can see what that looks like and you can change these around too I mean I'm probably doing a poor job here but you just grab it and move it around and then you tap the side of it and it goes there so you can move them around and you can change whatever you want to do with them put it right there and see that's that's what I'm saying it's it's pretty cool but they need to like upgrade, you know, update it a little bit more and add some things. Um, but other than that, it's pretty cool. That's Launcher 7. Just check it out at least. And uh, I hope this video has given you guys like a better understanding of uh, different home launchers. And it hasn't been too confusing. So a lot of this stuff is for the you know newbies, the people that just get into this or they've seen this stuff and they're not sure how to do this. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to message me or leave comments, and I'll be happy to help you guys out. But thanks for watching, guys, and hope this uh, made it a little easier for you. So, see you guys later.